Hello. In this video, we're going to look at some of the more advanced options that, depending on the session you're attending and your presenter, the presenter can make available to you as a participant in an Adobe Connect session. Um, and there's some really great options here. So one of the most common is that the presenter can give you access to enable your microphone. And I'm going to do that over here on my presenter screen. And notice when I do that, you get a little alert at the top that your microphone is now enabled. And it also puts a little icon next to your name. Now, usually microphones are disabled by default because it makes the, the sessions easier to manage. But as it progresses, your presenter might enable your microphone to allow for more uh, synchronous communication among participants. So now that I have the microphone next to my name, I can go up here to the top and I can click on connect my audio and notice it turns. And, notice it turns. and I'm going to mute myself so I don't get any feedback there. But notice it, it turned my speakers on. I can click it again. It puts a little dash across it. And you can see over here the icon has a dash across it. This means my speakers are muted. And that's great unless you're asking a question or presenting something to the audience. You want to make sure to keep your speakers muted. Otherwise, there's a lot of feedback there. Um, if you're having trouble with your speakers, you want to click the down arrow next to it. You can select another microphone if you need, or you can adjust your microphone volume. And maybe it's too low or too high. You can adjust that here. Or you can simply disconnect your microphone altogether if you'd like. Okay. Um, the presenter can do the same with video. They can give you access to video. They can enable drawing for you, etc. So keep that in mind. You have a lot of options. Um, the presenter has a lot of options, so these sessions may vary based on, again, what's being presented and who's presenting it. So the other uh, common one is that the presenter will make you a presenter. Maybe you have something on your desktop or maybe you have a document you want to share with the audience. And the presenter can then make you a presenter. And notice when I do that. I get a new little option right in the middle of my screen here to share my screen. If I click on the down arrow, I can share my screen, my documents, or share a whiteboard with the other attendees in this session. I can also look at recently shared things. Okay. In this case, I'm going to choose to share my screen. And it's going to take a sec. Okay. Up at the top, you can share your desktop, which is the entire desktop. You can share a specific application if you don't want to share the entire desktop, or you can share specific windows. Usually applications are nice unless you're going to be moving between like um, two browsers or Word and Firefox or something like that. The application is what you want to go for. Um, keep in mind if you share your desktop that everyone can see your desktop, so make sure to have anything um, that you don't want seen minimized as much as possible. In this case, I'm just going to share, I'm going to click on uh, Firefox to share that. And I'm going to click share. And you can see uh, kind of over here, you can, I get a window that says currently sharing. Once I'm done presenting, and you can kind of follow yourself, once I'm done presenting, I can hit the pause button if I want to pause while I'm sharing, and I, I want to maybe go click somewhere else that I don't want anybody else to see. Or I can click Stop Sharing Altogether, and that will take me back to uh, the Adobe Connect session. And that's really all there is to it. Those are some pretty, those are more advanced options, but pretty common ones as you attend more sessions.